So I started making these machines with Chris Magoon, who was the Thayer Design Fellow. The process is the artwork as well as the results. So I kind of come up with conceptual algorithms or algorithms that are influenced by sensor or uh, data that are mining from the internet and to create a piece of artwork. And these pieces can take months, not months, days, weeks to complete. Every time someone tweets Starbucks in the world, it will go to that location in the world. In the exhibition, um, we, we saw how when Australia and the people in the Philippines woke up, the machines started going over to that side of the world because they were tweeting Starbucks. I got my morning coffee, you know. So it was, it's really kind of a less artwork, more data visualization. And this one's much bigger and a little bit slower and less accurate, but it's, it's able to accomplish some really beautiful uh, algorithms by just slowly moving across the canvas. Each line is given a number uh, off a bell curve, and if that line has the highest bell curve number, basically the right cube, let's say, um, it will choose its own path across the canvas. Um, so let's, let's, I always think of it as like philosophers. Let's say Aristotle comes up with a new philosophy or theory. Um, he would have the highest IQ ever, right? So he would kind of make his own path. And all the paths after that would gravitate towards him. But then when Einstein comes along, his IQ might be higher, so he chooses his own path. And then all the following lines are gravitated towards him. So you see these kind of bands of people following, following these leaders. And this piece is meant to go on for weeks, if not months, trying to slowly amassing millions of ones. So this is a conceptual piece. Um, basically the idea is that these lines are kind of boring one by one on the bottom here. And they kind, of, they're kind of, they kind of progress through the life of the line as they go upwards. And the energy of the line is proportional to where they are in their life. So in the beginning, the line is very static because like a baby or an infant, life is very static and not much is going on, right? But as you enter your 20s, 30s, life gets more, life gets more chaotic, energetic, right? Um, that's why you see this kind of chaotic wave here. But then when the, the, the line ends, the depth of the line it kind of makes a spiral, and the spiral is proportional to when the line ended. So you can see here, it's kind of like a tragic ending to one of the lines, and it's a, it's a big spiral. Right? These were kind of the early pieces um, when, we're, when Chris and I were really hashing out how precise this machine really is. Um, so we decided, I decided we can do these spirals that I quickly coded up in MATLAB. Um, and it basically, it's just a simple spiral equation, sine, cosine, but it translates it, translates it into machine code for the machine. And it just makes these beautiful spirals. So it really shows the precision and consistency of the machine. Um, and like this spiral here, for example, took seven hours, kind of just flavors it. Kind of goes around and makes a spiral. Here's another piece where it, I, I took the last 100,000 digits of pi and basically used those digits to randomly traverse the canvas. So for example, say the number is 9, or start off at 0.1, or go 1 millimeter in that direction, and then 4, or go 4, four millimeters in the next one. And it kind of goes around using that, those random numbers and kind of this cool abstract This was kind of just going over um, the Mona Lisa, a representation of the Mona Lisa, basically binary, binary, binary representation where pixels were either black or white, and it just goes column by column um, and follows the black pixels to kind of give you this representation. And the real purpose was it was for, this, for the machine to really test its limits, um, and this was done in 103 hours with a single pen. So it, it was really kind of a test and it was great to see that the machine was able to be so consistent and not mess it up. So.